Well, hello and welcome to Click Spotlight. And my name is John Sands, and this is Click Spotlight at the New York Data Revolution Tour. And surprise, who do I have by the side of me but Martin Mahler from Vitzlib? How are you, Martin? Very well, thank you. Good, good, good. So, okay, we had a little chat at the London DRT, didn't we? And just a, just a small little teaser for this session. Uh, explain to everyone um, who you are. Wow, what a question. <laughs> so, <laughs> cool, yeah. So, my name is Martin Mahler, um, and the interesting story about me is that I was, my parents are from Poland, I was born in Germany, I grew up in Greece, studied in Germany, and now I live in London. So, I speak five different languages, and I consider myself a European. Excellent. The other fun fact is, I was a rocket scientist by education, and, but then I saw Click, so ever since I've never looked back and have oh. been a Click consultant. It's just like being a rocket scientist anyway at Click, isn't it? Exactly. Everybody's a scientist. <laughs> so, Vizlib then, we hear a lot about them. I have got my Vizlib socks on. You probably can't see it from there, but I've got my Vizlib socks on. But, and I know all about you, but what, tell everyone who's watching what Vizlib do. Well, so that's an inter interesting question. So we effectively, we are a technology partner and we provide and create value-added products on top of ClickSense. And our goal is effectively to enhance the ClickSense experience, to yeah. add more value, more analytics capabilities, and take the user to the journey beyond the standard out-of-the-box stuff. So for example, collaboration, that's our latest new yeah. uh, technology that everybody's raving about, you know, brings together data and conversation to where the data is and mm -hmm. allows people to converse, to have workflows and collaborate. And eventually that's what we're tapping in. And effectively about us, about this, we, we were consultants before. We have yeah. delivered ClickSense projects, a large organization like Barclays, HSBC. So we know what people want. We, we're building Vizlib effectively as a toolbox that would have helped ourselves to mm. effectively deliver effective and incredible uh, solutions on top of ClickSense. Okay, so, so that's, good. that's all right. <laughs> it's a free world. We'll carry on regardless. We're professionals. We don't care, do we? So what would you say? Why? I mean, you mentioned a little bit that in your last comment. Why, so why does Vizlib make a difference then? You know, if you, like, you know they say about the elevator pitch, don't they? Why do they make a difference? So, you know, we're always different elevator pitch, but I'll just be super candid, right? So, having worked four years as a Click consultant, Click mm. since version 2.0 until oh. four, I didn't even have a pivot table back then. Oh my God. <laughs> we saw that uh, we knew exactly what we need to do to deliver value to the business, and we know what the value, uh, business demand is from ClickSense. And there's another fantastic thing that happened. Click opened their APIs. Ah, so okay. we just realized, put one-on-one -on -one together, hey, we can build a fantastic enhancement and add-on on top of ClickSense. And effectively, as consultants, we know exactly what customers want because we needed it ourselves. Yeah, yeah. And with this, I think we hit a very great product market fit. And effectively, our success so far shows that there's a critical market need for those advanced, mm. not only visualization, but also capabilities in ClickSense. So being Click consultants, knowing how people work on the field, uh, is effectively you know, what brought yeah. us here and allows us to create those effective products. For us. I think we've gone between 15 floors on that elevator pitch, but that's, <laughs> that's fine. So one of your blog posts, which I read, I do read stuff every now and again, you look at the role of uh, visualizations uh, when dealing with human, human trafficking. Explain what that means a little bit. Well, you know, we, we have a very, you know, talented marketing team and we always try to stay ahead of a curve. So we read what is out there, how visualizations are being used. Humans are, by nature, you know, they, they can comprehend and uh, understand and digest information much faster yeah. with visualizations, right? And it allows basically messages and data to be communicated more effectively, right. right? And effectively, that's where we tap in. We try to effectively aggregate the data and, and bring the message across in a much more effective way than just numbers numbers and ones and zeros. And in the human trafficking as well, it's very much a, a subject that's close to people's hearts, isn't it? That, um, and especially in the European uh, market, that's a, a, you know, a good place to be. And to, to take what you're doing and make it something that actually can save lives or help lives is very important, isn't it? Absolutely, right? So of course, you know, use BI and data for, you know, eff effectively create more value within yeah. our organization, but why not use data now to improve yeah. the life of everybody To And the biggest misconception is always, you know, with, with, with stuff like human trafficking is statistics often lie. They oh, downplay yeah, it, yeah, upplay yeah. it, but mm -hmm. data never lies and visualizations have bring across the message much more effectively. So we're standing completely behind this and are helping effectively also organization, non-profit organizations with visible licenses in this case. Fantastic. So we're, we're rapidly approaching the end of 2019 into 2020. What's on the horizon for Vizlib? 
2019 went very fast. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> exactly. So where are we right now? So I always like to say, you know, our roadmap is typically the next three months. We try, we have a very close relationship with our customers and we try to keep customer centric. So 2020, whatever our customers say. So we have, we are bringing out a new fifth product, the Vizlip Gun Chart. That's going to be released in December. We're very excited about this. Yeah, yeah. And 2020, we will continue that journey. Keywords are, you know, we see a lot of people wanting to take the insight and, you know, deal with it further, like yeah. the third generation of BI. So effectively collaboration, commenting, write back, workflow elements. Yeah. That's something that we will be looking in 2020 and together with our customers develop you know, a very great product. Excellent. That is great. When you've got your finger on the pulse of the customer, then rather than sort of saying, okay, here's a list of features we're going to do, you know they are what your customer wants, aren't they? Exactly. And, you know, of course, being ClickSense consultants, I know when the customer request makes sense or if it's just, yeah. Yeah. in which case I say, have you thought about something else, yeah. right? Legendary requirement, export to Excel. Yes. <laughs> uh, however, but the reality is if a customer needs something, then there's, if we re realize it and implement it, then there's 10 other customers who are wild by it. So effectively, that's our roadmap. Excellent, excellent. So we're going to now change our, um, our scope a little bit, and we're going to talk a little about Martin Mahler as a person, yeah? So um, first thing I'm going to ask you is, uh, how do you relax? Oh gosh, never. Do you relax? Do I relax? <laughs> I'm very fortunate to have a company and effectively really, really enjoy what I do. So, you know, it's fun working. I never get burned out and I love to spend as much time there. However, you know, everybody needs to yeah, move yeah, down. Yeah. And I'll say, well, I've been traveling a lot. So, you know, sightseeing whenever I'm around, mm -hmm. right? Of course. Uh, and more importantly, Netflix, Sirius. <laughs> and yeah, if you ask me, Game of yeah. Thrones, ah. The Office, classic stuff, classic I stuff. I went to Dubrovnik and saw where the walk of shame actually happened. It's wonderful, yes, right? So <laughs> if we have any customers there, please invite me. I'd yeah, love to yeah, visit yeah, you. Yeah. Have you managed to get around in New York while you've been here? Um, yeah, absolutely. I love New York, uptown, mm. especially the Sky Group. I've been here, I think, now my sixth or seventh time, oh, so I get to you? know okay. it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lower East Side is now a new area I'm exploring, and oh, uh, yeah, we saw some nice restaurants a couple of last okay. days. So are you a book person or a Kindle person? Oh. So I love books. I read a lot, and uh, also to relax. So, I love having the book in my hand and flicking through this yeah. and seeing it and putting it on my shelf. Reality is, a Kindle is, especially when I travel, the lightweight solution in the tube. More importantly, you can annotate and underline things and quickly browse through them across yeah. multiple books, right? So technology is disrupting us here that it's hard to say no. So it's now a Kindle nowadays, sadly. Yeah. Well, sadly. maybe maybe one day, but what I love about a book is that the smell of a book and the new book and what it's like. So I don't, I don't unless Kindle are going to start bringing out a smell to them, I don't, I don't think they'll replace it completely. You never know. You never you know. know. You never know. So if you could have 10 minutes with anyone, okay? Famous, not famous, whatever, dead, alive, who would you have that, who would you have that with? Wow. So... That would always change from period to period, oh, course, and especially as I'm reading books, mm -hmm. I'm always like, oh, I'd like to meet that person or that author. So uh, I'll stick to that. Uh, one of the books that I'm reading is uh, from, from Ben Horowitz, The Hard Things About Hard Things. Oh, right. yeah. And he's a VC uh, venture capitalist yeah. in Silicon Valley. But what he makes so special is he describes the role as a CEO as it changes as your company is growing. And he basically says it as it is. It's a struggle, so there's no easy way out. No, Just no. embrace it, and no. especially around building cultures. So having 10 minutes with him and pick his brain yeah. would have been really Well, nice. you can have a whole, whole dinner with him, so there you go. So more than Absolutely. 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, starter, main course, the whole lot. Um, seaside or countryside? So that's an easy one. So uh, as I mentioned, I lived in Greece and I grew up in Greece. Yeah. So where I go for holidays is always the Greek islands. Ah, so yeah, you'll see me when I want to relax or do holidays in Mykonos no. or one of the other islands chilling there at the sea. Yeah, okay. I, I agree. I'll give you a, a, a Greek island that you should go and visit if you hadn't already and that's um, Paxos. Naxos? Paxos. Paxos. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I haven't been there yet. Ah, it's about, about an hour's ferry from um, Corfu. And it's beautiful, so give that a shot. Give that a shot. Okay, so top of your to-do list then, click or personal. Uh, for, let's go to 2020. 2020 to-do list. So 
We have a couple of roadmap things to kind of yeah. uh, close down in December, launch the Gantt chart, and then figure out the roadmap, and then you know align it a little bit with Click's roadmap next year. Uh, on a personal level, I want to stop traveling. <laughs> <laughs> I I did 13 cities in seven countries in the last oh. eight weeks. So. I told myself I'm not going to accept other invitations until the end of the year. Mm. Just relax. And you need to sit down. Go and find a Greek island somewhere, a little villa right on the right on the seafront, and do that. Absolutely. As much as I love to travel, I also have a company to run in London. So, <laughs> yeah, that, 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 <laughs> as a side. <laughs> well, Martin, thank you so much um, for getting involved in Click Spotlight. It's a fantastic event we got here, and a Vizlib are a very important partner for Click. And it's great that you can spend some time with me. So, absolutely. enjoy the rest of your time. I might see you later on, maybe. Who knows? We will absolutely. Thank care. you for the invitation. My pleasure. pleasure.